Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, this is Vandy Ezzel, back with Carpet Vanguard deck profile. So if you guys enjoyed the like, comment, subscribe, and let's start This time we are covering set four for Lyrical Monasterio, Shamont. So Shamont's the wizard looking girl with the beautiful big pink moon in the background, which is totally not the only reason I remember that card exists. But um, anyways, yeah, no. So she has the whole interesting line of she wants to use the ride line as firepower. Which is great, so they finally gave Rideline Cart skills. Except, man, the way they made this, I know, but she will never give them like the earnest correct treatment where they actually gave you more earnest corrects to make the deck more consistent. They're never gonna do that and give the Rideline more cards, even if they're crappy cards, just to make the deck more consistent. But hey, if they do, I will gladly be wrong because that means the deck gets more consistent. But, anyways, let's go get this deck profile started, shall we, and see what we got because this deck is. Out of all the new ones from the Halloween themed, this is not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite either. That also, but that's mainly because of theme though. First up, we have our starter today in Leve Hot Sorceress Crocus. I'm not gonna be able to pronounce any of these. Thankfully, there's only four of them in the deck, and this is one of them. Anyways, Grenzo boots 5k shield, 6k base. Auto reply for a second draw card, standard star, no splash, free draw if you win second. You can technically use any starter you want, but um, don't, don't use the starter. You're going to want as many of these in your deck as possible. And, um, yeah, just use the starter. One of them in the right deck. Then we have our over trigger. First, we have Demonic Fever Garveria. Grade zero boost, 50k shield, 5k power. Over trigger, over trigger in your deck. When you as a trigger, move that card, draw a card, choose one mutes. It gets plus one minute of the turn. If you've hit it during draw check, activate its jet fight, which you can get during this fight. You get during your turn. All your rear guards get one plus 10,000 power for the turn. All around. Pretty solid, you know, being able to check this offensively or defensively and get the free draw in a million is pretty nice. So, you know, it's good defensively to guarantee that you live the turn. Or offensively, it's good to know that you can pressure that turn. But then if you get it offensively, you also get that effect, which lasts the entire game. Which, granted, is kind of screwed over by Charmant skill, the way Charmant skill works. However, it gives the rest of your board a bunch of numbers. So, um, yeah, Gavera is good for that uh, last bit of rush to make sure your opponent dies, especially even with Charmant, because you're at least bringing your numbers to somewhere in the high 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, hell, maybe even the 80s. So, Gavera is just a very solid over. You can run any of the Lyrical Monastery overs because they'll have the same skill, but I prefer Gavera because numbers are numbers and it fits the theme. And then we have our normal triggers. Uh, we went for the all Halloween triggers. Please be smart and run Bear Toy and Edge Widge if you want to. And uh, Polly if you feel like it. It's just to be smart. I choose to do this because it fits the theme. So we have our three fronts in Glamorous Behavior. Sharita, Grade Zero Boost, Fitting K Shield, 5K Power. My least favorite of all of these triggers just because I don't know why I don't like her. I just don't. Then we have four copies, Rocking Candy, Alias, Grade Zero Boost, Fitting K Shield, 5K Power. Oh, just like in the Fennel deck where she is a pain in my side. She's a pain in my side in this one, too. I just see her more often because Shellless is not in the deck, thankfully. And then we have four copies of the winner, Eleanor. I don't understand why Eleanor is like the way she is. So she's a great zone boost, 5k show, 5k base, who's a draw trigger. But, um... She's like Diablo, I think his name is Diablo's Boy's Dave or something, The or Jake, you know, the draw trigger from Diabolos. And the reason I bring this up is because if you ever paid attention to those matches I do with that deck, pretty much he's always in the hand for ride deck, and then I will always drive check him when I need a draw trigger. Eleanor is literally the Lyrical Monasterio version of that card for this deck. If I need ride deck, She's here. If I need to see a draw trigger for some random reason, because maybe I bricked hard, she's there. I can't ex just explain it. It just happens for Valinor. Then we have four copies of our heal, Love of Cats Lazan, the only trigger I actually love among these. Grade Zero Boost, 15k Shield, 5k Power, and we can all understand why. You can run any heal you want to, but um, I prefer the non-effect heals because I like the consistent 15k Shield over the fluctuating 10 to 25k. It has nothing to do with the moon, but I will admit that the reason why it's the specific heal over the other vanilla ones is because of the moon and the theme itself. But uh, yeah, four of Lazan, very solid heal, take that as you will. And then we have our grade ones. First up, we run four copies of Liven Up Light Claw Tiled. Grade one boost, 5k shield, 8k base. Auto rear guard at the end of the that she boosted. If you have a Vanguard Levera Hot Soul Swiss in this card name, put the unit to soul to soul charge two. Um, cool. That's three free soul that you acquire in one go. I don't think that skill is useful, at least not in this deck, because 
I have seen games where this deck will consistently hit 11 soul without me having to use this. I mean, it's nice that you know the attack that it boosts doesn't have to hit. It doesn't even have to go to Vanguard. It can go to Rear Guard. As long as it boosts something and you have the Levea Hot Sorcerer's van named Vanguard, you just get three free soul off it if you want to. But, I mean, the deck definitely doesn't need it. I mainly just run it just in case and, um, you know... She's cute, she fits the theme, and she's a nice card I can call in the early game and not have to really suffer from it since I don't really need her in the late game. So, four of Claw Tittle. Just very solid grade one. There's not much more I can say about it. And then we have four copies of Vivid Night Festival Aurelius. Grade 1 boost, 5 because shield, AK base. Auto when she's placed on the rear guard circle. By counter blasting 1, you get to search it after 1. Grade 2 less card, Levea, Hot Source, and this card name revealed, put it to hand and shuffle your deck. And this card is the sole reason why they will never give us archetypal PGs anymore in D. Because this would just be on place, CB1, search the deck for Z archetypal PG. But, um, cool, free, grade 2 or less. And they're typically going to be the ride deck cards for now, but that's nice. And then act rear guard circle. If you have a grade 3 guard vanguard with Levea, Hot Source, and this card name, rest is you choose a card from your drop zone, put it to soul, and then choose your vanguard because it's Okay, power for that turn. Cool. Get you more soul to cut down on the grade three's main soul blast cost literally in half of that skill. It is not a hard one for turn. She found a way to restand her. She can do it again. And she gives the Vanguard 5k. And she searches for the ride deck, which gives you more targets for the Vanguard skill. Like all around on her own, she's an amazing grade one. It's a four for that alone. But thanks to a certain grade three we got the same day she was released that has really good synergy with her, she's inherently a four for that of two because thanks to those two cards, we hit the ride deck fodder we need for the Vanguard skill. We get the Vanguard a total of 10k and we literally get the Vanguard soul cost all in that one go. Four Aurelius, amazing grade one and you are crazy not to try to at least run her at four. And then we have four copies of our PG, and that is Sturdy Sweet Zamil. Great on boost, 5k, or not so 5k, she was Zero Zero's K base, uh, contains Sentinel. You may have a total of four sons in deck, let's put on a guard circle, choose one of your units, it cannot be hit till the battle. And if your hand is two or more cards in it, choose a card from his card, choose a card from your hand, guard it. Standard PG, nothing just about the battle, means if there's only one card in here, place on guard circle, you don't have to go, it's great. Because I mean, you can be as aggressive as you want in the early game, and then when your opponent counterattacks you, you can all this PG, and then not have to guard anything, which is great. And you know, it benefits us to have the beautiful moon in the background for the theme. You can really run any PG, but um, if you don't run this one, you are dead to me, especially because it fits the theme. But yeah, um, cool. Four of Zamil. Also, it has a Z in its name, which for those of you that don't know, like one of my favorite letters in the alphabet is Z. That and V. V, I don't know why V, well, I know why V is my favorite, but Z, I like for some reason like Z. So take that as you will. Four of Zamil, just nice PG. And then we have last grade one. Thankfully, I can finally say this. One of in the ride deck, three of in the main deck of the amazing grade one. I really love looking at her. I don't know why. Like, I feel like the glittering shine from like this corner of the card carries over to it all. And then it just like looks so beautiful with like a shimmering icon. Anyways, grade one boost, 5k shield, AK base. All of she's wrote upon by a grade two with Levea Hot Source since card name. You may call this card to rear guard circle. Doesn't matter if it's back row center or just anywhere on the rear guard. And then if you call it, you get to soul charge one at the end of your turn. You put her back to soul, which is great, meaning your opponent is going to have a hard time getting rid of her unless you know your opponent is playing something that can kill during the battle phase such as sienna but um you know being able to cycle back to soul is great because i mean your opponent can't kill it i mean you can use it later for your grade three skill who i'm not going to try to pronounce the name of because it involves this but also it can also replace itself with a soul charge to get more targets into soul and then all the rear guard at the end of the battle that she attacked or boosted if you have a if your vanguard has 23k or greater power and is levera heart sorceress put two grade two less rear guards with levera heart sorceress and their different card names into your little draw card so it can count herself it doesn't have to count herself but it gets you two free cards making it again harder for your opponent to kill them and you get a draw, which is all around pretty solid, and it can attack or boost into anything Vanguard or Rear Guard, regardless of the grade the opponent's at. All around, Hadi is a very solid grade one. She gets a soul on both accounts. She gets us Rear Guard to attack with. She gets us resources. Wasn't like about an easy four of in this deck. And then we have our grade twos, four copies of a Magician's Work Kobe for the first time. I just noticed this little moon in the background, and that is beautiful. Anyways, great chance of 5k shield, 10k base, this card that hard carries the deck on the turn that she comes out. Auto, she's placed on rear guard circle. If you have a grade three or greater vanguard with a Vire House Sorceress and this card name, by card bossing one, choose one of your vanguards, and it gets 5k power for that turn. And if your vanguard's 23k or greater, draw a card. All around pretty solid, this deck is very able to hit 23k very easily. The vanguard itself gives itself 5k, which means typically you have to use any of your other cards and increase the vanguard's power, such as Kobe, Alaria, 
Breakout or the Grade 3 that we're going to go over later. They give it 5k will automatically at the cost. And being able to draw a card is very solid out of that. And typically how I like to play this deck is I will leave Alaria in the card that combos really well with her for the Persona Ride turn. And then I'll tend to use Colby for the other turn just to help increase the Vanguard's power and get more draws. All around, Colby is a very solid Grade 2. I love her skill a lot. Increases numbers, increases hand cards, does it all for simple CB. Wasn't like about her, easy for of. Then we have four copies of our last grade two, actually. Three of in the main deck, one of in the ride deck of Avea Hoth, Soul Sodas, Kamiya. I'm not realizing I'm going through this deck profile extremely fast because past this one, we only have three more cards left. Anyways, grade two and set 5k shield, 10k base. Continues Vanguard Circle. If your soul has two or more grade one or less cards with Avea Hoth sources in the different card names, this is why I do recommend you run this considering there's only two Avea Hoth sources units in the game so far that are grade one or less and they're both right there. Anyways, um, when you would ride a grade three card Avea Hoth sources card from your ride deck, you may rather discard a card from your hand. Cool. Free ride deck. Again, it is kind of annoying with all the decks that get free ride deck, but I mean, I'm willing to excuse them on this one because she has a rear guard skill, which is auto rear guard when she's chosen by the ability of your Vanguard with a 23k greater power, Levere Heart Sorceress, the card name. Counter or not counter boss one, counter charge one and soul charge one. Downsides. That ability is mandatory. So, you know, you are mandatorily going to be losing your soul and being forced to CB or CC. On the bright side, free CC. Free Soul Charge. All you have to do to get the Vanguard of 23k is just use the Vanguard skill in literally any of the things that boost its power and we automatically hit that threshold. And Free Ride Deck. Like, it's an amazing grade 2. It gets our resources in an amazing position and I'm pretty sure it's the reason why this deck will never run into a Soul Problem and why this thing is basically a vanilla because I have no reason to use its skill. Three of in the main deck, one of in the ride deck. It's free ride deck and it's free resource game that isn't a hard ones per turn. So if they ever give the like if they ever give us a new Charmont that has dress up that has the ability to target the same unit twice, we could just proc out that ability again because it's not a hard ones per turn. Easy three of the main deck, one of in the ride deck, amazing grade two. And then we have four copies of the grade three that combos really well with Olarius over here, and that is Dream Splurging Ramona. Grade three to never at 13k base, act rear guard circle. If you have a grade three grade of with a very hot source since card name, by putting her in another rear guard into your soul, draw a card, choose one of your vanguards, it's 5k for the turn. So, if you can't understand what you do, you call her, use her skill to search your deck for either a copy of this, a copy of this, or hell, if you're running extra copies of this to you know, consistently have more Levere Heart Sources in your deck, you very much could. Uh, anyways, you search out a copy, then you rest her to put a card from your drop zone, probably ride deck cards, or an extra Levere Heart Sources if you need one, into the soul, give the Vanguard 5k and rest her, then you call this, you send both her and Alarius to soul, draw a card, give the Vanguard another 5k, so the Vanguard's at 23, use the Vanguard skill, pump up to 28, use the same skill, pump up to 33, and now you hit the threshold for Charmant skill. For Ramona, all around, pretty solid, gets us more soul, Gets some more hand cards to replace her and one of the rear guards that was sent to Soul for her skill. Gets the Vanguard numbers and combos really well with an already inherently good card. Four up to this grade three. It's just amazing and there's not much more I can say about it. Then we have our last unit in the deck, but not the last card in the deck. Three of in the main deck, one of in the ride deck of the beautiful Levea Hot Soul Solace Charmant. Grade three, 10% 13k base. Okay, let's go ahead and get my bass out the way. Um, ah! the moon also something i just noticed now like the little glimmer of like the little light strand right here also this stick i don't know why i like this stick now i just do anyways great the turn person 13k base two skills active vanguard circle once per turn by combat boss when you get to choose up to two cards choose two great two less cards with a very hard sorceress in their card names from your soul call into rear guard circle and this equals like a powerful that turn they don't have to be different names but um they most likely will. I suggest you always call the starter from this, and then if you have a copy of this in hand, call this one and vice versa, obviously, because you're the second skill and wants you to have three different cards for the name. And I specify that because also she gets five, plus 5k, but that wasn't clear, so 18k. And then her second skill is auto vanguard. When she attacks while not boosted, this is why you call this to back center. Call this one to back center. Call the other two to the different columns. I swear you will not regret this. Here's why. Auto Vanguard. When she attacks while not boosted, choose three of your grade two less rear guards with the Heart Sorcerers and their different card names. And until end of turn, increase or decrease all of their powers to match the power of her. So for free, they all probably become at least an 18k. Plus this thing 23. Plus this thing 28. Plus, where is it? This thing 33. Plus Persona Ride 43. So, you know, 43k at least 23 probably, but either 33 or 43, they all become that. Meaning, like, if you did get a Persona ride, those Persona rides are sadly nullified, to my understanding, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, 
you know, because they'll automatically change it to the ones in the front row, which is why you want to call them to back row, or like over buffs will automatically be nullified, so it's just changing their numbers. But in exchange, if this unit's power is 33k or greater when you do this effect, and your opponent's vanguard is also a grade 3 or greater, by soul blasting 2 until end of turn, the, back, the rear guard in the back row center column that is chosen by this ability can attack from back row and perform drive checks. So counter charge, soul charge is now a 23k swing. That doesn't seem so great, especially when this is probably 33k swing, or this is probably 33k swing as well, but double 33k boosters that are now possible, that granted aren't affected by overs or persona rides, but that doesn't go for the front row. Meaning if the front row is something like dual this thing, that's 220k, let's just say you did persona ride, but you didn't get the over, that's 43k columns. Actually, no, that would be more actually, because the Vanguard probably at 33, that's 53k columns without triggers. And you got three drive checks. It only costs two soul, and if you couldn't tell via everything else we have access to, yeah, this deck doesn't really have much of a problem getting soul. Numbers, multi-attack, rear guards, rear guards that can send themselves back, if I can find it, rear guards that can send themselves back to soul to get resources and make them untargetable and call themselves in the early game, rear guards that literally just cut our costs in half for free, rear guards that increase our numbers, rear guards that get us more soul, and then rear guards that does everything the deck needs it to do, and then AK Vanilla that does something if I really need it to. <sighs> we could just not go over the last card, and honestly, this deck is good, but I'm going to go over the last card anyways. Uh, Gratis Gallade. Here's how I came to the conclusion of this card. I have literally space for one card, and I don't feel like cutting this thing down to three of and then making another thing a two of, so I just chose F it. Let's run the Persona in order because I don't care. Grade three, normal order, Regalius piece. Um, you may only have one Regalius piece in your deck, and you can use a total of one time in a fight. Play it if you have a grade three Vanguard Persona ride and you do not Persona ride this turn. Activate Persona ride, or if you not ride in turn this general. Activate Persona ride, draw a card, all your formal gets percent K power, and you regardless to Persona ride this turn. So, uh, you know, worst case scenario, you don't hit this. You get Persona Ride? Cool. So you still get the numbers out of it. Um, yeah, this can really be anything you want. You can honestly replace this with anything you want because, again, it literally is just... A I've used this skill one time, and the entire time i played this deck, I've used that skill one time. So, I mean, take that as you will. But, um, yeah, no, we have Searcher, Send Stuff to Soul... Send stuff to soul, cause itself, draw a card, make the opponent harder to kill your stuff. That also fits the deck's gimmick by having Levera Hot Sources in the name. Um... Makes the Vanguard's number easier to hit 23k and gets a free draw. Inherently guarantees anything you do on top of her skill will hit 23k. Gives drive checks, gives multi-tag, gives a lot more bigger numbers. Gets soul cards, gets numbers, gets draws, does it all for free. Gets resources back for free. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's all I can really say about it. Uh, that's it for the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. This deck is just... It there, there's not much I can say about it. It's just it does its job and it does it well. Like it barely takes up any resources to do its job, and the resources it does take up, it pretty much gets them back within the following five seconds. And it just like makes a board of a bunch of witches that swing for game. Like the only thing that holds it back is this specific part of the ability, which makes it have to lower down to grade three or greater and be at thirty three k. But this is even the hard part. It's just the opponent being at thirty or being a grade three or greater. But um, uh, yeah, no, that's it for the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed. It. It's fun to play you get to basically play like pale moon and um screw around with your opponent so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe just to join the discord follow i'll see you on this one don't forget to up your vanguards